Before the video starts, consider clicking on the bell icon just next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever a new video comes out. And if you like my vlogs, feel free to subscribe to VZ Racer Vlogs. Enjoy! It is a common thing today that the single car model generation stays in production around 7 or so years. This was a longer period a couple of years ago, when cars were simply people transporting things, not necessarily objects of wishes and desires. There are some models which were kept in production for quite a while and some born in the last century are still made today. Jaguar XJS as Jaguar's Grand Tourer, the XJS was previously meant to be a mid-engine car. Naturally, the car would look a little different, but imagine that under the long rear deck would sit a V12. The XJS was not well welcome, as it came out during all crises. Its styling was also criticized, but it happened to stay in production for 21 years anyhow. Checker Marathon The Checker Marathon was a regular passenger vehicle like any other car with an exception of the fact that it was used as a taxi in America for many years. Basically being unchanged for a long 22 years, the Marathon received a bunch of different engines, a flathead and OHV inline 6, an overhead VAL V8 by GM and Dodge, and once even an Oldsmobile diesel V8. Rolls-Royce Cornish The Cornish name was registered in the 30s, but was not produced because of the World War II. It started with a Cornish named variant of the Silver Shadow in 1966, and in 1971 it became a separate model. It also received a new stroke version of the L410 engine, displacing 6.75 liters. Alfa Romeo Spider Googling for Alfa Romeo Spider you'll come across a few different models, a GTV sourced roadster from the 90s and also Spider on the base of the Brera besides others. None of them was sold as long as the actual Alfa Romeo Spider though. It was equipped with the various engines starting with a 1.3 litre and topping out with a 2 litre all twin cam engines. Jeep CJ5 The Jeep CJ was the direct successor to the legendary Jeep Willys. It was produced for a couple of decades and in a number of generations. The CJ5 was the longest living since 1950s. The power units came from AMC, Buick and Perkins.
Jeep Wagoneer. The Jeep Wagoneer was like no other Jeep ever before. This model was the first one to be based on the SJ platform, later sharing it with other Jeeps. The Wagoneer is considered to be one of the first, if not actually the first SUV to be made. Its competitors also provided 4x4, but their Spartan-like interiors could not beat luxury the Wagoneer was sold with for 30 years. Land Rover Defender The Land Rover Defender is one of those off-road heroes which can get itself anywhere. This is a British heritage which not long ago was officially killed after 33 years of reduction. Although the original model started in 1948 as a military vehicle, the Defender was sold with lots of different engines, gearboxes and also shapes as there was the short and long wheelbase versions as well. Mercedes-Benz G-Class Nicknamed as the G-Wagon, this is the longest living Mercedes civil car ever. It was originally a military vehicle, but in 1979 it became a production model as well. It is one of the few cars still using free locking differentials. During its life, it underwent the engine lineup renewal. It was produced under license as the Peugeot P4 and Puch G, and of course it's been redesigned over time. And demand after it is still huge. Mini The design of the original Mini was set to create a minimalistic car to be able to carry four people. For this reason, it became a front-wheel drive, front-engine car using tiny engines. The Mini was a lightweight car, unlike today's Maxi models, and held on to be made for over four decades. Volkswagen Type 1 The Volkswagen Beetle, as it is commonly known, was a pre-war car approved by Adolf Hitler himself. Its designer, Ferdinand Porsche, who later made his own business making Porsches, was set to create a budget-friendly passenger car. The Beetle was only powered by flat 4 engines and sold in the very similar shape as the first model is until 2003. Over 21 and a half millions were produced. Morgan 4-4 The Morgan 4-4 seems to be the longest living car. The 4-4 was introduced in 1936 as Morgan's first four-wheel car. Its name even suggests that it has four wheels and four cylinders. It is an open-top car starting with a 34 horsepower back in the 30s, making its way up to 127 horsepower from a 1.8 liter Ford Duratec engine. Besides, Morgan has also the plus 4 and plus 8 models, living since 1950 and 1968 respectively.
love in paradise, I suppose. If you will tell me I'm the only one that you love. 